Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today is one of my favorite type of videos to make. It is my candle picks video and this is for July of 2019. So it's summer officially here in Pennsylvania. It went from like eh, to deathly hot. Um, we've had some crazy humid days. We've had some just baking in the sun around 100 days. You know, people think Pennsylvania is this, well, I don't know if they think this, but I would think to the outsider, you would think, oh, you know, they don't get the extremes, but we get pretty disgustingly humid, hot days here, and then we get the blizzard, you know, crazy snow, and um, not as bad as some places, but we get our mix. That's all I'm saying. So when I was thinking about the type of candles that I would like to burn for July, I went with light citrusy scents. And so I went through my collection and I'm excited to say that all of these are already in my collection. And I pulled out scents that I think that I want to try to burn. Now, a lot of these are going to be Yankee Candles because I am a Yankee Candle Front fan girl. Um, so I understand ahead of time that I will not be getting through pretty much all of these. Um, I'll be lucky if I get through one Yankee candle, let alone all of them. But I pull them out every month just the same because these are the things that I'm inspired to, um, kind of go and grab if I want a candle. This first candle that I have from Yankee is Honey Clementine, and I have the medium jar, which is 14 and a half ounces. And I love this scent. This is probably one of my favorite Yankee spring summer scents that they have in their current collection. I have burned in the past a two wick tumbler and I really enjoyed it. I've I've warmed a milk cup and I've really enjoyed it. It's just it's just deliciously like summer to me in terms of being like a sunshiny, like warm type of scent. And the top notes, or excuse me, the notes of this candle are relatively simple, and that's what I love about it, that it's pretty cut and dry. Um, the top note is, a, is orange peel, the mid, notes, mid note is clementine, and the base is honey. And it's sweet, it's citrusy, but it's simple, but it brings it. And so um, I'm really excited to burn this. This next candle that I have is also a Yankee candle. I originally had it out for my June candles and I did not get a chance to burn it. So I kept it out because I feel like this is a summer scent to me. And it is White Strawberry Bellini. This is one of the new scents that they have out this year. And um, according to the website, it has a top, note, top notes of pineapple and orange. Mid notes of mango, peach nectar, and chilled champagne, and base of sugar. Yeah, it's all that. It just sound, it smells like a delicious fizzy strawberry drink, and I am like all of these candles. I'm super excited to burn this. This candle I have from Yankee. I couldn't find any notes, and I'm like, do I want to burn it? You know, I don't want to have a never burn collection because I don't want to be a candle hoarder. But at the same time, I've kind of been holding on to this candle. Um, now this one was poured in 2017, so it's not that long. Um, but I don't want to burn it. And I love this candle um, in terms of its its label. So it's the old label. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what it is. It's Pineapple Paradise. And it's the old label. <sighs> I stand an old label. And I just love the yellow of the pineapple, the purple of whatever type of flower that is against the yellow of the paraffin wax. Like I, I visually, I love this candle. I think it's stunning. It's one of the most, okay, this is going to sound weird if you're not into candles, but I think this is one of the most beautiful candles <laughs> that I own. <laughs> like I look at it and I just, I think it's gorgeous and like I said if you're not a candle person you're gonna think that's weird but maybe if you're a candle person you're gonna understand that visually this this does it for me and it makes me like so happy so I couldn't find any notes this is technically a retired scent they bring it back every once in a while as a treasure or during a semi-annual sale but this is just cut and dry it is pineapple canned pineapple the juice of the pineapple 
fresh pineapple. It's just, it is pineapple. I don't smell anything else with it. Oh my god. I feel like I want to be drinking an alcoholic drink right now. Oh, it smells so good. Or eating pineapple upside down cake. Or just having pineapple. <laughs> like, I just want pineapple right now. There, there's a quality with this particular scent that it is so juicy. They did such a great job, in my opinion, of making it so realistic because I get the juiciness factor of it. I get, I get the sweetness and it makes me feel like there is real pineapple in here that I'm smelling. Like that's how well they did when they made this candle. I think, um, I think it's a fabulous candle and uh, I don't know if I want to burn it, but I have it here anyway. This next candle actually originally started as a UK um, collection from the Out of Africa collection and it is Yankee Candles Serengeti Sunset and as you can see there is the French language on the bottom and I've already burned this at some point I think last year a little bit I think I had an orange theme at one point so as you can see this candle has already been started um, I looked online and it just I couldn't really find a breakdown of the notes but I found the little slogan that went with this candle and it is a blend of fruits, citrus, lotus flower, and amber. And from what I remember when I was burning this, um, this is a 2018 pour. It would have had to have been last year. I remember this being a very light throw. I remember that it didn't necessarily bring a lot to the table. And I felt, if I'm remembering correctly, for me it was more of like an ambiance. You know, I liked the lit orange candle because unfortunately for me, it just, maybe it was the location of where I had this candle, but it just, it didn't fill the room. And it's not necessarily one that, upon my memory, upon reflection, that I feel like, I'd be like, you need this candle in your life. But we'll see. I'll go ahead and I'll burn it. Um, I'll probably b definitely try to burn this one. I don't like hanging on to already lit candles. So I'll probably, it will kind of like, it's like a pet peeve of mine. I'm going to be like gotta burn it so I can just get it out of my collection so I'll probably be working on this one throughout the month this next candle is an oldie but a new candle to me I actually did just buy this last month probably yeah it had to be June um, during the semi-annual sale and it's a candle that is it was like a returning favorite it has been retired um, they did pour this in 2019 um, it's star fruit and orange now, I burned this candle years ago, um, and it was one of the candles um, that stuck in my brain that I liked, and I didn't understand at the time when I first started getting back into, like, getting into this hobby of candle collecting that Yankee retired some of their scents, and it I would look all over for this candle and it was you know I'd find it randomly on eBay and it would be you know ridiculously high prices and things like that and so um, I was in a Yankee candle and I saw it and I was encouraged by someone to buy it they're like if you want it you should totally buy it and it's like oh that encouragement was all I needed to buy this candle. Um, so I couldn't find any note breakdown of this candle, but I did find their little slogan, and it says, a vibrant sun-infused medley of crisp star fruit, sweet mandarins, and delicate pink hibiscus. And also a lot of the reviews online said this was an extremely light thrower. Oh, but it smells so delightful. And it just brings back a lot of memories because as I said this was one of the first candles years ago that I burned and um when I saw it it was just like girls gotta have it because it's it's one of the things that like made me love candles so I do have this and I am excited to burn it Oh my goodness, I, 
I don't understand how in a house with air conditioning it's still ungodly hot. Not that you needed to know that, but <laughs> I feel like I need to share how over the top warm I am right now. <laughs> Um, so the next candle I have is actually a country candle, which is by Kringle. I bought this earlier in the year when I did my Kringle candle haul, and this is grapefruit and ginger. Now, the interesting thing about country candle, which is owned by Kringle candle, is that it's, I mean, come on, it's the same style jar, you know what I mean? Um... But the only difference is they are two wick candles, if you could see there, versus Yankee Candle being one. Now, little history lesson, if you don't know, um, Country Candle, which is made by Kringle. Kringle is made by Mick Kitteridge, who is the son of Michael Kitteridge, who is the, cre the founder and the creator of Yankee Candle. Um, he, the creator, had since sold his rights to Yankee Candle to, you know, a larger corporation and everything like that. And then, um, I think it was in, either in 2010 or 2012, his son decided he wanted to use the family recipe, as they say, to make candles. And, um, they started. And so, the Kringles are like the fancy, sophisticated, upper scale, like upper crest you know, member of that family. And then the country candles are like the more fun, laid back, relaxed, awesome, you know, like party-like type of candles, I think, in that collection. I've actually gone to the flagship, I've gone to the flagship of both Yankee and Kringle. Not that that matters, but <laughs> going back to this. Um, so they do share visually a similarity, but they do have that two wick. Um, which creates a faster wax pool, which means you're going to go through your candle faster, but it also makes the scent stronger, in my opinion. When The more wicks you have, in my mind, the stronger the scents that you're going to get out of your candles. <clears throat> so this grapefruit and ginger, I'm a little bit nervous for, because obviously I bought it. I bought it online. Um, I can't eat grapefruit, personally. It, like, doesn't agree with my life, but it's kind of like that one thing that I keep trying to eat because I'm like, I feel like I can overcome this, and then I can't. But I like grapefruit scents because they're, like, strong but bitter but, like, citrusy and bright. Um, maybe because I can't eat them. I like the scent. I don't know. But the notes for these... For this candle, the top notes are ginger and grapefruit flower. The mid note um, is citrus and floral, and the base notes are fruit and musk. So very just like vague, high level notes that they give. But I get it. I get the grapefruit. <sighs> yeah, so I'm going to be interested in burning this candle, and I felt like this is a little bit... I mean, I love a good citrus candle. I, citrus is like one of my favorite um, categories of scents for candles. Um, but I've never really gone for a grapefruit candle, so I'm pretty excited to try this one. This next candle that I have is from Pier One. Um, I've talked a few months ago, a few videos ago, that I recently discovered that Pier One sells candles and I've kind of really liked going there to go candle shopping. It's kind of a dangerous place for me now. So I have bought this a few months ago, and this is the three wick of uh, Blackberry Sangria. This is a 13.9 ounce, so it's a little bit smaller than a medium Yankee candle. These candles are white wax. You get three wicks, so you're going to get a nice wax pull, and I love the containers. I keep telling myself that I'm going to save these containers, but I end up recycling them because I realize my limitations about what I'm actually going to do with things. So this one um, has notes of berries, peaches, lemons, apricot nectar, rum, and sugar cane. So all things delicious. Oh my God. It smells a little perfumey though. It does smell a little bit like, honestly, if I had to close my eyes and smell this, it would smell like 
um, Bath and Body Works Old School Sun Ripened um, Raspberry, which was like the fit, like the body spray and the body care of the early 2000s. And that's what this smells like to me. Not that it's a bad thing, because I, I admit I probably had a lot of that body care <laughs> at the time, but. Um, I'm excited to try this candle. The last candle I have today to share with you is an Ikea candle. And like all Ikea things, I can't pronounce it. But it's the Sinlig? Sinlig? Um, and I'm assuming it's just peaches and possibly lemons based on the picture. I don't have any other information. Um... It's kind of, it has little holes here in the plastic, you know, if you can see. So I do get, uh, of the dust cover, so I do get some of it. And I'm a little bit worried because, like, smelling it through the dust cover, it's, it's like that intense peach, that artificial peach that's going to kick you in the face and give you a possible migraine. So, did I say fake peach? I meant, like, not fake peach, just, um like intense peach. I shouldn't say fake. Um, but like intense peaches. Um, and doo -doo -doo -doo. it's made in the United States of America. It could have been cool if maybe they put some English on here. For me, you know, whatever. Um, I'm trying to find some more information for you. It's 25 hours. And that's it. Like I can't find how many ounces or anything like these. Um, I, I like, when I go to Ikea, first of all, Ikea is one of my places. Like, I love going to Ikea. Sometimes even just by my, a lot of times by myself. I don't even like to go with other people sometimes because I like to bring my coffee and I just like to go and, like, just window shop. And then I get to the candle section and, like, in my head, you would think, like, Ikea, candles, perfect marriage. But I have never really had a great experience with their candles. Their candles are fine, they'll burn, they create ambiance, they are scented, which are all the things, honestly, you want a candle to do, so it checks all of those boxes. But I've never really found an Ikea candle that I truly love and that I could say on my channel, I recommend you need to run to Ikea, you need to order from Ikea this particular candle. And, and they're very inexpensive. They might be like $2.50 or $3. So you think, like I said, they're, they sound great on paper. But really for me, they're more just kind of like, just like another thing, a little ambiance thing to have. But I've had this for a while. And I kind of, I don't want to like say get rid of it. But I um, want to put it in with my collection so that I could possibly use it and then I won't have it anymore. So those are the candles that I have picked out of my collection to burn for July of 2019. If you liked this video or found any of the information helpful, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye!